Hello and welcome to the show. Today I am playing Colin McRae Rally. This has just been released on on Steam and I was a big fan of the original games. Now this, I don't think this is quite an exact remake of a Colin McRae game. I believe this has taken bits from Colin McRae 2 and kind of made it into a game. I'm not even sure if this didn't start out as a, fo a mobile game. Then has been ported onto Steam. I'm not sure on that. Might have to check. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's kind of a, a sort of a remastered version of Colin McRae 2, just slightly altered, and I think a little bit slimmed down. Uh, anyway, we shall start with. Uh, let's go to a championship. Sure. Let's let's go here. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll start a, a new one. I <laughs> I went to start the recording, and then my computer threw up some pop-ups, which was always fun. I don't know what the hell it did. But uh, he got unhappy, so I've had to, re to restart this one. Right, uh, as far as vehicles goes, they're <laughs> bloody hell. There are terrifying faces. This is quite an old game. This is using. <laughs> I don't know when did Colin McRae Rally Two come out. It would have been a long time ago. I remember playing it as a kid. I remember driving the Focus an awful lot as a kid. Um, <laughs> it's pretty old, uh, but they are some scary. Yeah, don't look at the drivers of the cars. They are terrifying. We are straight repairs. Ah, oh yes, it's got the old repair system in it. Uh, oops, I've backed out too far. My bad. Uh, resume. Um, yeah, it's got the old repair system. You don't see it in... Well, I mean, there's only really one proper rally game nowadays. Uh, that's the WRC series. Yeah, dirt is good. I like. I enjoy enjoy the dirt series. It's not proper rallying, though. Um, yeah, you don't see this old, this, this old repair system whereby you go through a stage and knowing well, how I used to drive... Uh, when I was very young, you'd smash your car up a fair bit, and then you'd have a certain amount of time to fix your car in between, in between the stages, and you had to decide what was the most important bit to repair. I am nine seconds up at the first checkpoint. That's not bad going. I don't think I've oh, oh crap! I don't think I've had to brake yet either. <laughs> fair, fair enough. We may have to brake up here. Do we have to? Oh yeah. I've, oh, I, oh dear. Oh, we're falling off the track. Oh. There's a tree there. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing terrible has happened. We haven't explored the scenery too much. <laughs> so I'm playing this currently on an Xbox 360 controller because because you can. I would have played this as a kid. I would have played it on a keyboard. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so quite how the handling system compares is bloody hard today. It's, it's often quite weird playing games for. Ooh, I need to change. Oh, that's the wrong way to change gears. Um. Uh, when, you're, when you when you talk about the sort of nostalgic games for you, uh, it's it's kind of weird coming back to it because I remember this game was very good. I remember loving the Colin McRae Rally series, but I can't tell you how the cars drive. I can't tell you if this is similar to the way that they drove, or whether this is better or worse, or any of that really, because I was too young to bloody remember and <laughs> to pay much attention to quite how the cars drove. Uh, as more interested in trying to fit them through whatever roads I was tasked with. Uh, oops, even I've taken out of the street. I am a, I'm quite impressed with the damage model. I don't remember the damage model particularly, but it's not bad considering uh, considering the age of the game. The AIs are slightly easy. If I've I bumped a tree and got stuck, and I'm look at the oh crap, we're getting lost. Oh, it's fine. We'll do we'll we'll, we'll do the cray thing and take a shortcut. Uh, there's a gate over there. There, see, we're fine. I think bad has happened. Oh, I need to to change gears. We're not going particularly quickly. Uh, <laughs> I realised. Have we got above 70 yet? Uh, oh, bloody hell, that's a big jump. Ow, that's smacked the front of my car on the ground. Okay, well, it's not a brand new focus anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we are not quite as quick as I think we should be. I, I know rally cars. Rally cars are absurdly fast, but there's often the acceleration that's more important than the, the top speed with them in many respects. But 60 miles an hour seems a little bit... Maybe when we unlock the other cars, maybe they go faster. I don't know. <laughs> we have bloody miles in front as well. We're, we're, uh, we're nearly a minute up on a three-minute stage. Yes, I am a rallying god. That's what it is. There's not, nothing, to do, nothing to do with the AI. Uh, are we, do we need to change gear? Nope, I don't think we need to change gear. We, we haven't needed to really use the brakes. I don't even know what's handbrake. I presume B must be handbrake or Y. Y's not doing anything, so when we need it, I presume B is how we'll jump down with a couple of gear away gear. Hmm. Okay. 
So <laughs> as far as as far as nostalgia goes, um, yeah, the graphics are. I think they're a bit. Well, they are a bit better than, than what I, than what I remember of this game. I seem to remember like, this is. I, I don't remember this stage particularly. This could be a stage from from the from the original, if you like. I do remember liking Australia. The Australian rally was one that I was quite quick at. I remember hating the French. I think it was French uh, Germany. They were tarmac rallies that I was rubbish at. I won by a. It's <laughs> a bit easy. Let's carry on, shall we? Yeah, I'm. After one of six stages, oh bloody hell! There's lots of stages to get through. Uh, there are there's plenty of 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 road to drive. There is a slightly odd texture going on there, to the right. We are about to have a horrible dust storm. Okay, <laughs> let's let's not go over that way. Ooh. Okay, we we've got exploring already. Handling is very much arcadey, if I'm honest. It's not the does the damage carry over. It does carry over. Does it carry over actually? And uh, no, I'm not sure. Ooh, yeah, and he fell off the road. Um, that opening stage was a, was a little bit straightforward. I'm hoping that they will get a, a bit trickier as we go on. Again, often with the McRae games, I don't know if... It, oh dear, that is the strongest signpost I've ever hit. Look at the damage it's done. <laughs> it's smashed all of the windows. All of the windows are gone from hitting one little car... Well, maybe, maybe not cardboard, maybe wooden sign. And it's done... <laughs> Woo! Where am I going? Where am I going? I've got lost. Help! No! I've got right. It works! It's fine! <laughs> I don't believe that. But he worked. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I'm not getting lost on a rally stage. I should be paying attention to the pace notes, but I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> okay, how are we doing? We're okay. We're okay. Where are we going? Oh, that's where we're going. I, I'm presuming that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I would love if it just made the roads up around. Oh, that's not good. That's not a good angle to be taking a jump. Oh, bloody hell! This is a. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure quite what happened there. Uh, this is a bit of a tougher stage, actually. Maybe like, as I, as I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted by getting lost. Um, the Colin McRae or all the rally games I've ever played always start off at Australia. They always Australia is always like the first place you go to, and always seems to be. Um, the the easiest tracks. I'm not sure if that's where they start the real world rally championship. It might be. Um, but yeah, it always starts at Australia, and it's always it seems to be the easier tracks. It seems to be the ones that they can go fastest on. It's, it's when it gets further down the line that things get a little bit evil. With the, as I said, I I've never never ne was never good at the tarmac rallies because they just involved a lot more speed, and I would always crash the blooming thing on them. But uh, maybe I've got better. Well, I, I would hope I've got better in the many years since I last played Colin McRae Rally games. And I have a controller, which makes it a little bit easier to drive <laughs> around, around here. Uh, handling is, yeah, it's, it's arcadey. It's fairly solid, though. There is this just this little thing that seems to go on with it, whereby when you if you start sliding the car, it's almost like it gets a little bit caught, and then it doesn't want to do doesn't want to carry on the slide or something like that. It's, it's very hard to explain uh, until, you, until you drive it and have a go with it. So we're going, all right, we're, I'm, I've paid attention to the pace notes. I've not paid attention. It's fine. It's fine. We can, whoops. Um, um, <laughs> uh, help, help. Oh, okay, fine. This is it. <laughs> it, it's okay. We've got magic teleporters for when you get lost and get caught behind a barrier. They're useful things. They should use them more often. They're, they're absolutely great. I've also managed to lose a tail light. Did I hit something? I don't think so. Ooh, ooh, get a little, get a little bit twitchy down here. I definitely much prefer the 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 previous stage. It was a, was a little bit more challenging, a little bit narrower. Uh, ooh, can I roll the car? Hmm. <laughs> I want to test it, but I haven't got a nice enough hit. Oh, here, here's a crash. Come on, come on, focus. Can we roll? Nearly. That's one way to take a corner. <laughs> okay, this has now become my sole quest. Can I roll the car? That's not quite the quest. A, a quest? A crest. That's what, oh dear! Bridge! Water! We've gone playing in the in the, the river. Bugger it. Okay, we need a crest going around a corner slightly uphill that we can fire the car off. The minute I see one, I will launch the focus airborne. And we will try <laughs> we will try and try and roll it. Uh, I seem to remember. Conor McRae, Raddy, was it Raddy 3 that was on Xbox? 
three has on the on the on the original Xbox. I remember that had a really good damage system on it. That had a really like a, a f for the time again for the time that had a really very very good damage. But compared to modern, it's probably terrible. But I remember that had a phenomenal damage system that you could roll cars. You'd have really really big crashes on. Uh, here's a crest around a hill. That's a tree. That's not quite well. <laughs> not quite worked on that one. Whoopsie. My bad. We're fine. We're still driving. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any noticeable handling damage done to the car or speed damage. No, it doesn't seem to be. I hit a tree at 70 miles an hour. Uh, oh crap. Okay, we needed to brake for that bit. That's a very solid foliage there <laughs> that I slid into. Jump. Oh crap. If I've been going a bit better, I might have been able to roll <laughs> roll off that. I also like how I'm trying to roll a car and I'm still a minute and a half in the lead. Oh, I need to do gears. <laughs> <laughs> Jump this way, can we get, uh, we can get it on its side, woo, okay, we're good, we're good, and I want another, <laughs> I want another place to try and roll a car off, up here, no, nope, it's not worked, oh, we've, sm <laughs> we've smacked the back of the car into a, into, this is a very strong fence you've got going on around here, <laughs> and there's a copy of Basted Crowd, ah, the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> be fair, Forza 5 is not much bloody better for that. Uh, oh, that was not a line to be taking over there particularly. That wasn't a good one. Okay, we're going around towards a finish line somewhere, and we're going to not have any more places to roll the car by the looks of it. Up here? Roll focus. Nope. <laughs> I, don't know, I can't remember if it's possible or not. Oh, god damn it. I, I, I can get a lot of air at their time, it seems, but I can't quite get it to do, do the rolling. Uh, woo, around this one, then that looks like the finish line, woo, across the line, to victory, right, we are leading by three minutes, halfway th through the first, the first rally, hmm, okay, I, I want to roll, I, I really, <laughs> really want to roll this bloody car, um, right, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to think of what, what I remember, <laughs> from the old call it of the old the old rally games I'm, yeah I'm, I'm I'm kind of kind of liking this in many respects it seems a little bit too easy to me I, I'm spending most of the time well, it's far too easy with from the AI front I'm spending most of my time flat out the second stage we did was pretty good but uh, this one the, the, the previous the other ones haven't been particularly anything any massively challenging. This game is only five pounds, I think, on Steam, and I'm sure at some point it'll be in a sale and you can pick it up for very little. I'm not sure if the if the original copies of these games work on modern computers. It's always the downside with old PC games; yeah, they get unhappy when you try and run them on modern stuff. I don't know if the, the the original versions of these would work. Where am I going? I'm presuming this way. Sure. Um. Whoopsie. Ran a little bit wide there. Um. So yeah, I I don't know. I don't know if they would work. I mean, it's not particularly that much money to really to give this a go and if you were a, a fan of uh, if you're a fan of the original Colin McRae games and you played a lot of them it's probably worth the uh, the nostalgia in in some in some respects we've not taken that corner very well uh, <laughs> very well there but it's not the most challenging of of racing games of rally games that I have played the cars are the cars are easy they're pretty responsive this one is I'm presuming the other ones will be as well um yeah, the stages are, in some respects, too wide and too too simple, I think. It's, it's, not, it's not too bad. The I mean, air horns are very, very loud. Uh, <laughs> come on. Come on, girl. It, it does feel quite slow. It does feel really rather slow. I mean, oh, we're up to 71 miles an hour, I saw there briefly. I don't know how fast rally cars are. I'm pretty sure they're quicker than this, though. Especially if it's on a stage like this where it's... Pretty, pretty open on the corner front. I haven't seen anywhere. Oops! I haven't seen anywhere else to roll. Oh, that's terrible. Let's go down here. Uh, I don't think I've braked yet on this stage at all. Can I do a stage? That's going to be my challenge next time. I've got to do a, an entire stage without crashing and without using the brakes. Okay, that's what we're going to try next. Come on, go through the gears. <laughs> stupid car. Uh, we might. Okay, we, can we use the handbrake? Oh no, we can't use the handbrake to do that. Okay, um, luckily, this isn't the stage that I'm trying to do without brakes. <laughs> Please don't have... Now, now that I've said it's all easy, yeah, the next stage I'm going to get... Oh, now I'm being silly. Uh, <laughs> the car around. 
Uh, it's not looking too healthy on that side. It's looking quite broken, actually. It's also making a funny whistle. Oh, bugger. We've rolled it. I was successful. <laughs> okay, that wasn't that completely wasn't intended. That is a huge jump. It's it. We're there is strange noises coming from my car as well. I think I, I'm hoping we have a repair stop next time, as uh, this is less than less than <laughs> less than healthy. It is quite battered on the left side. To, oh, no, I didn't need to go. <laughs> Find a gear somewhere there. In there, there is a gear that is useful. Finish line. I could do with getting to you, and I could do with fixing the, the car before we try and go somewhere without any any brakes. Okay, engine. Oh, we want to repair that. Used half our time repairing that. Suspension. Probably be quite useful. Um, okay, well that's it. That's, uh, <laughs> that's all we're going to get. Time to repair. And now I'm going to try and do a stage. Can't touch the brakes. Okay, can we do it? The bodywork is still... Uh, <laughs> is still battered. Okay, that does carry... Oops, that's the gear. That's the right button. Uh, the damage does carry over. Which is, is, is pretty neat. Okay, so now I've got to try and do this without any <laughs> any braking. We've made the first call. It's actually very weird. I've got to hold the controller differently, otherwise I just instinctively grab for the brake. So <laughs> it's kind of unnatural to uh, to hold a controller like that, uh, to drive. Or it's unnatural for me to be holding control without having a finger on the uh, <laughs> on the brake trigger. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, ooh, uh, where are we going? Please be a nice stage. So far, we've had a couple of tight-ish corners. Ooh. Nearly got that one wrong. <laughs> but no no hairpins yet. Ask the very noisy crowds. I think they've been giving out vuvuzelas or something. <laughs> right. Okay, with, with two checkpoints in, we are 20 seconds up and haven't had any need to use... The, uh oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, uh, it's not going to work. <laughs> ah, how very kind of you. I remember this stage. I remember this stage with the pipeline running along it. I just remember the pipeline bit. <laughs> I do remember it though. Hey, I remember. I'm amazed. I remember that. Yeah, I definitely remember the stage, the Australia stage, with the, the pipe thing running alongside it. God, there. <laughs> yeah, I. I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting to actually remember the stages. I, I, I remember. Oh god, the car, the car that I most remember, apart from the obvious focus. The car that I most remember driving was a Seat. Is it Toledo? Toledo? Was that what they used to run? It was a yellow and grey Seat. Was it an Ibiza? Could have been either. Oh crap! Hairpin! 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 Please! No, that's not going to work. <laughs> uh, we are slightly stuck in a tree. How do we get out of said tree? How? Oh! Oh, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> uh, so I was I was trying to change it into reverse. I was manically pressing downshift, and it wouldn't go into reverse. But then when I had it in first and accelerated, it then decided it wanted to go in reverse. Okay, doing this thing without braking is a little bit harder. See, I can't get it in reverse. Go in reverse. Okay, I have to hold down brake to get it in. But how did I do it first? I don't know. Um. Okay, you need to brake on a couple of corners. <laughs> it turns out I have battered the focus. I think it might be, it's either missing a bonnet or a front bumper. I'm not sure. Uh, look, look, <laughs> lovely wide turning. Oh, tarmac. How can we get up to some sensible speed now? Ignore the horrible storm that is affecting parts of Australia. Look at this, 80 miles an hour. Ooh, okay. Oh, look at this, we're going to get to the triple figures. We are at the giddy heights of 100. Oh, crap. Don't give me like a really tight hair. Oh, crap. Uh... Please be a nice corner. There we go. That's good enough. Thank you. <laughs> we might still do it, though. We might actually complete the stage. We're going to win by a mile without using the brakes. But it's not advised, shall we say. Yeah, we'll go through here. We'll, we'll look at this. We can take some shortcuts. Hey, we'll take some shortcuts over this way as well. Might as well. Uh, there was... Some of these jumps are pretty nasty. So uh, that, wasn't, that wasn't even a jump. You lied. I was looking forward to the airtime. And uh, that was kind of a jump. I'll, I'll let you get away with that one. And there should be a finish around here somewhere. And then I think we have one more stage to go. Across the line. And there wasn't a particular... <laughs> I love how there is... The crowd is just standing directly behind the finish line. Now, 
th directly behind the, the where the car goes. That's not the, the smartest place to stand. Really, you know, there's going to be cars uh, admittedly crossing the line at sort of 60 miles an hour. Uh, <laughs> you don't stand in front of it, especially not that close. Oh, bloody hell. That was a tighter corner than I expected. Okay, we might actually have some work to do. I will... Oh, okay, can we can we legitimately cheat? Oh, well, I don't think I really gained anything. <laughs> Probably lost more time doing that. Hey, we're in the lead again. Jump! Plonk. I wonder if you can total your car. I'm not going to... I'm not going to deliberately find out, but if we do find out, then cool. <laughs> All right, yes, yeah, it's, it's handling. Handling is is okay. It's it's kind of like you you have quite a lot of turning, and then the car just kind of keeps on sliding. So I can I can turn it into the corner fine, and then it's the sliding that's a little bit a little bit weird. It's arcadey. Oh, that that corner there. That's a legitimately tough corner. Oh, that's downshift. That's not. <laughs> I will eventually remember what which button does what gear in what direction. I mean, there only has one. There's only one gearbox, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, <we're laughs> I'm a rock crawling car. Where are we going? Oh, trains! If only there were, if only there were trains. Car. Oh, gears. Gears. Remember to bloody change gear. Ooh, and bounce along there. Well, I'm glad to say that it has rollover mechanics. That always makes rallying rallying more fun. <laughs> I'm not driving a particular... Uh, the, the Ford Rally team are not going to be exactly happy with me. Uh, <laughs> with the way I've treated their car. I will win by like 10 minutes. Oh! <laughs> Whoops! It's good! It's good! It's nothing... <laughs> what the bloody hell did I do there? Not my fault. Again, I also remember this stage as well. Where you're running alongside the train tracks. It's all coming back to me. I just don't want to go to France. I remember hating France. Was France? It was terrible. That was, France wasn't terrible. I was terrible at driving the French rally. What were the other stages that I, I I can't remember outside of France, Australia, and Germany? Is there a Greece one? I know that one. There was a Greece rally. I'm presuming. Yeah, there was a there was a Greek one. There was lots of sand. I, there was one stage as well. I don't know whether it'll be in here. I think it was at Greece where there was. It was just sort of like permanent. You went backwards and forwards across a river, so there's just permanent. Like the the co the co driver was just constantly saying water splash over and over again. I think that was at Greece. I can't remember. I had no idea what stage it. It might not even be your. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a Colin McRae rally. I can't remember which one it was, but because uh, I always remember like the water splashes were awesome because there was like one. There was about one per per rally occasion. Like Great Britain had one, I think. Um, and, then, and then I came to this this grease stage that had so many in it. It kind of spoiled the fun a little bit. Uh, there's not going to be any in Australia because we're pissing around in the desert. Uh, that's a rock. We can get turned. No, we can't get turned. If <laughs> I like the glass. You've, you've got some interesting glass in this car. Sort of bendy glass. That's, that's pretty neat stuff you've got there. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right, we're going to cross the finish line in a minute. And we will be victorious. Uh, oh crap! Would I recommend this game to you? It, if if you like the Colin McRae games, if you played them as much as I did as a kid, if you want them for nostalgia reasons, then yes, give it a go. It's only five quid. It's not that much money. Pick it up when it's on sale. As it is, it's not the most amazing game. Uh, I <laughs> I will be honest. It's yeah, it, it's okay. The handling is drivable it works very well on a controller there is not a huge amount to it in the car department uh, as i as i as i showed uh, can we go we got unlocked so where this is still more more australia there's lots of australia i think there's, there's quite a lot of there's quite a lot of, of rallies to go th there's quite a lot of quite a lot of stages at least i'm not sure if there's only uh, is there only australia greece corsica i'm not sure if that uses them or uses other ones there's not a huge amount to it, but then this game is only five quid. Have I unlocked? I haven't unlocked the cars yet. Um, yeah, there's not masses to it, but it's also not particularly a huge amount of money. It's good for a bit of nostalgia, good for a little bit of fun. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. It is a little bit easy, both in AI difficulty and the tracks that I've driven so far are a little bit simplistic. But uh, anyway, there we go. That is it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.